Hey folks, we all know about the Comet 3i Atlas. This was discovered back in July 1st, 2025. The one that started out as a small speck in the space now turned out to be the third interstellar object that we are tracking. It's a fascinating comet. Uh, I was looking at how many spacecrafts we have that can catch a glimpse of this uh, amazing comet and it turns out to be uh, there are quite a few so i wanted to share those details with you of what instruments it has got and how the pictures may look like uh, from these amazing uh, spacecraft that we currently have uh, so the first one is going to be the maven uh, it has a lot of science instruments on maven and it was sent back in 2013 for one year mission and now it's lasted until today. Maven science instruments are designed to study the Mars atmosphere, how it uh, lost all its atmosphere, you know, the dust storms. So it's actually a good instrument for us to now study the coma of the Comet 3 Atlas. So this is the picture of C2013A1 that we took. It's not much. We might expect actually uh, maybe much smaller, but we will know more about the coma using uh, this Maven spacecraft. So the next one we have is Mars Express. So this was sent by the European Space Agency. This was sent also for one year mission back in 2003. It has camera called high resolution stereo camera. So this might end up taking pictures of, of the Comet 3 Atlas. I looked up the previous pictures, if any, of comets that it took. Turned out to be, it also took uh, pictures of the same comet and it took it very differently. You can see how uh, the picture from the high resolution stereo camera came out to be. We can bet on Mars Express. It's going to be fantastic if it can take pictures of 3 Atlas and show us a bit more details of 3 Atlas uh, than what we are seeing right now. The third one is not a spacecraft, it's our rover that is sitting on Mars. So this is our Curiosity, uh, amazing. It's working since 2012. It has something called the mast camera. So this is Curiosity rover looking at Comet 3 Atlas. So this was the previous picture that Curiosity took of the Siding Spring Comet. It was just a dust. That's pretty much how it was able to take. So we will see how what Curiosity can show us. It will be fantastic. I'm betting more on the new rover that we sent, uh, the Perseverance. And that one has a better high resolution camera. Uh, this was sent in 2021. This also can take pictures. It never took pictures of any comet so far. We need to see how the pictures turns out uh, with the new upgraded camera that is sitting on the Perseverance rover. It's going to be very interesting if it can take at least a decent picture of Comet 3 Atlas. The next one, I think I'm going to Jupiter, the Juno spacecraft. There is quite a lot to talk about this one. So this is going to encounter somewhere near uh, March time frame of next year. Uh, we need to see when Juno gets closer to Comet 3 Atlas. So Juno turned out to be having end of life. So this one, if you can see it, it's almost ready to stop or end the mission, uh, crash into the Jupiter atmosphere. You must have heard the scientist Amy Loeb and he did propose a mission to take the remaining fuel of Juno and use the gravity assist of Jupiter intercept the Comet 3i. So I was researching on the proposal. I know there is a congresswoman, Anna Paulina. So she uh, submitted a letter to NASA saying that she proposed to extend a 15 million US dollars for six months extension of this Euro spacecraft and using the gravity assist, it can intercept a uh, 3i atlas and it can take decent pictures, but there is a lot of risk in sending this craft near the Comet 3 Atlas, we don't know the size of the coma, uh, we don't know the exact orbital path, it might deviate a little bit, and also we don't know how much fuel this uh, spacecraft has got, and timing has to be right. It is roughly around 30 million miles by the time it gets closer to the Juno spacecraft. So using this uh, 50 plus days journey that it is currently 
orbiting around Jupiter. It's a bit risky mission. Uh, we don't know whether NASA is going to agree to this or not. The next spacecraft is not there yet near the Jupiter. This is called Europa Clipper. This is on its way right now to study the Jupiter moon Europa. And this may take some pictures of this comet 3A plus as well. It is supposed to arrive Jupiter 2030 uh, during its way. Originally, the camera is designed and is, you know, for the subsurface oceans under the Europa. The, it has some powerful cameras on it. So if it can capture a distant object like Comet 3i, which is flying quite far from where it is, uh, we'll get some amazing data from the Europa Clipper. The next one we have is JUICE. Uh, this is the European Space Agency's uh, spacecraft. It was also sent last year or the year before in 2023. It was, it's going to be there by 2031 to Jupiter. It's on its way. So it is supposed to study the moons of Jupiter, the Ganymede, Europa, and other moons and their icy crust. So it is also carrying latest and greatest cameras and a lot of scientific instruments. If it gets any closer to taking pictures, uh, we can count on Juice also taking some decent shots of Comet 3 Atlas. The next spacecraft that we also have, it almost found 4,000 plus comets. Uh, this is NASA's SOHO Observatory that it's been working since 1995. Uh, it is both a joint mission between NASA and the European Space Agency, but the field of view is so small, and any comet that comes towards it, it can take fantastic pictures, but unfortunately the 3A Atlas won't come near that field of view. So we need to see if it can take any pictures at all. So I'm not counting a lot on the SOHO observatory to take pictures when it comes near the sun. But if it can, that will be a fantastic one. There is another one out there called Parker. So we don't know whether it can take pictures or not. It is going to go quite far uh, from Parker. So we need to see if it can produce any meaningful data to us. So let me know your thoughts. Which spacecraft can take pictures of the Comet 3 Atlas and who got more chances? Uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do. I, I have more updates coming on the Comet 3 Atlas as well. Thanks for watching.